All right, who wants to go next with I'll, their bus pick? I'll, I'll go next with one that might be a head-scratcher at first, right? Because I'm throwing out Kareem Hunt as a gigantic bust. Now, you, you might say, well, how can he bust? He's in the eighth Zero round. Zero points week one. <laughs> right. Zero <laughs> points week two. Zero I points week guarantee. three. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you're guaranteeing. I, here's why I wanted to bring him up, though. We were doing a live draft, a real draft, and Kareem Hunt was drafted in the eighth round. And I was like, what? And then I went and I looked at ADP, and Kareem Hunt is going in the eighth round. And then we did a draft yesterday, and Kareem Hunt went in the eighth round. And all I want is I want the Foot Clan to know that you're not going to be part of that. You are, <laughs> the Foot Clan will not be partakers in drafting Kareem Hunt and clogging your bench. You will not partake? And, and ruining. It makes Formal no ban. <laughs> Formal ban from Jason. I mean, the game strategy of drafting Kareem Hunt is nonsensical. He's missing the first eight weeks plus a bye week. Okay, so the first week you can possibly play this player is week 10. Now, you're not going to play him that week because you don't know what the role is, barring, okay, Nick Chubb got injured in week four, and now you right. know you're just waiting. Barring that situation, you're talking about week 11 now. And the only way you play him in week 11 is if in week 10 he comes out and was super awesome. But the reality is he's a backup. You, yes. He When he comes back, <laughs> he's a backup running back. What are you doing? Here's some guys that will help your team that are being drafted behind Kareem Hunt. Sammy Watkins. Okay, say whatever you want about the Lizard King. But he's... He's, <laughs> he's the king now. He ain't he's the playing. man. He <laughs> took over the uh, the top seat. Yeah, you, you want either shot on the Green Bay wide receiver two, Geronimo Allison or MVS. There, Didi Westbrook. We've all of our my guy quarterbacks, you know, Cam, Goff, Russell Wilson. Like, these are valuable players. Not Russell. Oh, come on. Uh, don't get that I, going. I guess again. We'll, we'll start about we'll, Mike, we'll talk about that in a second. Oh, he is yours. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't of know course. how you don't. Uh, Matt Burita, Adrian Peterson. There, there's it. I just want it's a PSA, really. Yes. That. Kareem Hunt is not going to help your team this Big year. Big name. Big name it's moves a, up to ADP. Exactly. Don't draft him, Foot Clan. Let other people clog your bench and not be able to make waiver wire moves because they're holding on to a backup running back that they get to play in week 11, they hope. And that's one that's a consensus bust for us as well in the ultimate yeah. draft kit. Totally agree. But, you know, mercifully, I was in a, a mock draft yesterday, 12th round. Oh, I mean, not that nice. not that you want to take him, but at least well, he went I, in the 12. I'm glad you bring that up, though, <clears throat> because this is one of those things where it's like, okay, if he's available in, at my last round, I would never take a roster clog for that long. Don't. So yeah. when, when he drops in value, don't think, ooh, shiny. <laughs> if you already <laughs> have him, what do they do? Go trade him to the Nick Chubb owner? Sure. Maybe. If you uh, Clog his bench? Right. It's a, He's a landmine. All right. Yeah. If you want more of that, click down there, see the whole episode, click over there, subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.